Wilhelmer Stephenson, 1879-1962, was an American Arctic explorer who made scientific studies in the field made valuable contributions to the knowledge of Arctic. He made no spectacular geographical discoveries, but he learned and told how men may live in the rigors of the region. He was born in Arns, Manitoba, Canada on November 3, 1879. His parents were Icelanders. When Stephenson was about two years old, the family moved to North Dakota. The boy grew up in a prairie farm but was able to attend the University of North Dakota and to graduate from the University of Iowa in 1903. He went to attend the Harvard Divinity School for a year and the Harvard Graduate School for two years studying anthropology. While still a Harvard student, Stephenson visited Iceland in 1904 and in 1905 carried out archaeological research there for Harvard's Peabody Museum. In 1906 to 1907, he went as an ethnologist on an expedition to the Canadian Arctic for Harvard and Toronto universities. The expedition ship was unable to penetrate the Arctic beyond Point Barrow, Alaska, and Stephenson alone lived for a year with the Eskimo of Mackenzie Delta, familiarizing himself with their language and way of life. The experience convinced him that modern civilized man could live like the Eskimo in the Arctic North. From 1908 to 1912, Stephenson led an expedition sponsored by the American Museum of Natural History and the Canadian government to the north coast of Alaska and Coronation Gulf above the Northwest Territories of Canada. In 1913 to 1918, Stephenson was commander of the Canadian Arctic Expedition. On his return, Stephenson delivered a lecture at the Mayo Clinic in which he pointed out that, although he had lived for five consecutive years in the Arctic, consuming an all-meat diet or its equivalent, he found his general health in no way impaired. To prove his point, he continued his all meat diet and submitted to tests by a team of specialists who found he had suffered no ill effects. Later, Stephenson served in an advisory capacity with many organizations concerned with the Arctic. He was a consultant on Norton operations to Pan American Airways from 1932 to 1945. During World War II, he was an advisor to the U.S. government on defense systems in Alaska and on methods of survival under Arctic conditions. He was Arctic consultant to the Norton Studies program at Dartmouth College from 1947 until his death. Stephenson saw the value of Arctic natural resources and prophesied accurately how they might be developed for man's use. He recognized the feasibility of colonization of the Arctic, of air travel in and across the region, and journeys by submarine under the ice. Among his many books were My Life with the Eskimo, 1913, The Friendly Arctic, 1921, and The Arctic Manual, 1941, prepared for the U.S. Air Force. Stephenson died in Hanover on August 26, 1962.